Let's take a look at how the Lightning is getting faster with an all new adaptive engine and other upgrades. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning is the world's most advanced and numerous fifth generation stealth fighter. Planned to serve into the 2070s, this versatile jet is becoming the backbone tactical multi-role fighter for the US and her allies. It makes sense then that given its lengthy planned service life, the F-35 is constantly undergoing upgrades to ensure it stays on the cutting edge of technology and helps keep adversaries at bay. Today, F-35s are being upgraded to the Block 4 standard. Block 4 upgrades include the Stormbreaker Smart Glide Bomb, the ability to equip ASRAM and Meteor missiles, the SOMJ standoff missile, and the Joint Strike missile, which is capable of both land attack and anti-ship missions. Along with these new weapon options, the F-35 will receive 11 radar and electro-optical updates and over a dozen electronic warfare updates, allowing the Lightning to detect enemies sooner and jam them. Further upgrades include enhancements to augment unmanned teaming capabilities, making the F-35 an even more potent drone controller. Attritable drones that are much less expensive than an F-35, such as the XQ-58 Valkyrie, could be used by Lightning pilots to probe defenses, provide extensive jamming, and even create diversions. Additionally, there is even some speculation that the Block 4 software upgrades could be laying the groundwork for the F-35 to carry a weaponized laser. More on that later. The Block 4 upgrades are about 80% software enhancements and 20% hardware improvements. What this means is that the external appearance of the F-35 will remain largely unchanged, but these new modifications will greatly increase the Lightning's lethality and effectiveness. And yet, there's always room for improvement, so how do you make the best even better? While most of the Block 4 upgrades are software related, there is a proposal to upgrade a major hardware component of the F-35, the engine. Current F-35As and Cs are fielding the Pratt & Whitney F-135 PW100 afterburning turbofan, which produces 28,000 pounds of thrust dry or 43,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner. The F-135 engine has been called the world's most advanced fighter plane engine, but it has been troubled by maintenance and reliability issues. To address this, the Air Force's Adaptive Engine Transition Program, or AETP, has put out contracts for its replacement. The new engine would be fitted into the conventional takeoff and landing F-35A, as well as the carrier base Cattle Bar F-35C variant. We'll take a look at the Marine version of the F-35 later in this video. Getting back to the new engine. To produce an advanced power plant for the Lightning, General Electric has been working with the US Air Force for some 14 years to develop an entirely new class of engine that is tailor-made for the F-35. This new power plant makes use of what's known as an adaptive cycle engine. Just like the Lightning is getting more upgrades to increase its effectiveness, range, and speed to stay on the cutting edge, you should consider using NordVPN. We live in an increasingly interconnected digital world, so you really need a VPN to secure your data and protect against hackers and malware. NordVPN is hands down the easiest and most effective VPN service to use. In just a few clicks, you're up and running on a secure net. Using NordVPN is like having a fighter escort protecting your data packets as they travel through the internet and into your computer. Along with protecting your internet traffic, you can unlock a brand new content library on your favorite streaming platforms by using NordVPN to connect to a foreign country. NordVPN can even increase your broadband speed by preventing your ISP from throttling your connection. You can install NordVPN on all devices, including mobile and gaming consoles. So don't get shot down. Use NordVPN Virtual Fighter Escort to protect your data packets and thwart hackers and malware. And just for my viewers, when you sign up for NordVPN, go to nordvpn.com slash pilotphotog and get the two-year plan with an exclusive deal plus one month free. It's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. For less than the price of a cup of coffee each month, activate your NordVPN Virtual Fighter Escort to secure your internet traffic on all your devices today. And now back to the lightning. Up until this point in time, traditional engines have utilized a fixed airflow, meaning that designers had to decide if the engine was to be a high performance type with high thrust output or a high efficiency type with low fuel consumption. Perhaps the best illustration of these design compromises can be found on two iconic aircraft, the F-15 Eagle and the A-10 Warthog. 
The F-15's engines were designed for high thrust output, allowing the fighter to obtain speeds of Mach 2.5. Meanwhile, the A-10's engines were designed for efficiency, which allow the Warthog to stay on station several times longer than faster higher thrust fighters. GE's adaptive engine combines the best of both worlds, high thrust and fuel efficiency. The adaptive engine accomplishes this by switching between high thrust and high efficiency modes in the air. The process is completely automated, meaning that an F-35 pilot flies his or her mission using the same throttle inputs as today, and the adaptive engine determines which engine state is required depending on the circumstances. In this way, loiter or patrol times can be extended by burning less fuel and combat situations can be improved by providing more thrust output when it's needed most. The GE engine developed which can produce these performance modes is known as the XA100 and is the world's first ever flight weight three stream adaptive cycle engine. The goals of the XA100 program were to increase thrust by 10% while also increasing fuel efficiency by 25% over conventional designs. However, in recent testing, the engine did even better than that. Thrust outputs have shown as much as a 20% increase while range has been improved by 30%. So what does a 20% increase in thrust and a 30% range increase translate to for the F-35? We'll start by looking at the range parameters first. Currently, the F-35A has a combat range of about 680 miles. A 30% increase would bring that number up to about 884 miles, an increase of just over 200 miles. This is significant when considering facing near-peer fighters or assets over long distances, scenarios that are increasingly being planned for given current events. Regarding the navalized F-35C, range figures would likely be further improved as the C version carries more internal fuel than the A version of the Lightning. When it comes to the 20% increase in thrust, not only would top speed be affected, but so would another important parameter often overlooked in combat situations, acceleration. Rapid changes in acceleration allow pilots to execute more nimble tactics and emerge, perform more aggressive offensive and defensive maneuvers, and egress the target area quicker. Additionally, the higher top speed also allows for more aggressive and longer pursuits, since the improved fuel efficiency also translates into having more fuel available in combat situations. The XA100 adaptive cycle engine also provides another benefit, cooling. Today's fighters are limited by the heat buildup from the engines themselves, as many times the engine output has to be limited to avoid damaging the aircraft itself. The XA100's use of advanced components, such as additive and ceramic matrix composites, not only reduce the overall weight of the engine, they also significantly improve the internal cooling capacity of the engine itself. This translates into a doubling of the thermal management capacity of the engine. Along with higher thrust envelopes, cooler internal temperatures actually mean more electrical power is available to run the onboard systems. For a flying supercomputer such as the F-35, this is a game changer. Having more electrical power means the ability to run more advanced systems not possible on other platforms. This includes the aforementioned directed energy weapons aka lasers and even an exotic new countermeasure system such as the Navy's planned laser-induced plasma filament hologram. This system projects the heat signature of an aircraft hundreds of feet away from its host to distract and decoy heat-seeking infrared missiles. Improving thermal energy management also allows for up to two times system architecture growth, providing ample opportunity for future demands as the F-35 platform grows and matures. Higher efficiency and improved thermal cooling also translate into lower operational and maintenance costs. As a result, the overall program life cycle cost is reduced while also reducing the cost per flight hour. Additionally, the aforementioned composite materials increase the durability and lifespan of the engine, which in turn means more mission-capable aircraft and a higher sortie rate for the F-35 fleet. In summarizing, the XA100 provides better fuel efficiency, higher thrust, more effective cooling, and greater durability. Historically, designers had to choose from one of these factors to improve an engine. The Adaptive Cycle XA100 accomplishes all of these simultaneously, making it the embodiment of a fighter engine wish list in a single design. This cannot be understated. While a single one of these improvements would be welcome in any fighter platform, 
the benefits provided collectively are much greater than the sum of its parts. Given this, it's not hard to see that adaptive cycle engines may be the future of air combat. Today, the XA100 already has working prototypes and is designed to fit snugly in the F-35A and C models. So what about the Marine Stovall B version of the Lightning? Given the highly specialized B version's engine requirements, currently there isn't an adaptive cycle engine that will fit in the F-35B. However, there is speculation that if the XA100 moves into full-scale production, a variant which will accommodate the Stovall Lightning will be developed. It's also worth noting that GE has extensive experience in re-engineering aircraft over the last four decades, including infamous airframes such as the F-14 Tomcat, the F-15 Eagle, the F-16 Fighting Falcon aka Viper, and the U-2 Dragon Lady. The re-engineering of the F-35 with the GE XA400 engines will provide game-changing performance for today's warfighters for decades to come. As mentioned before, there are already F-35 size working prototype engines currently running. The next step is to move the program into the engineering and manufacturing development stages. And finally, one more interesting note about the XA100. It's speculated that this engine technology will be incorporated into the next generation air dominance or NGAD fighter. To this end, the XA100s and F-35s could serve as an operational testbed for the NGAD program. Similar to how the chrome or mirror-like finishes have been spotted on several F-22s flying out of Nellis recently. I've made a video about the chrome Super Raptors, check that out if you haven't already, I'll leave a link in the description below. What do you think? Is the F-35 at the top of its game? Are adaptive cycle engines the future of fighter engine design? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and now you know.